What's happening, everybody? Giggles Lagana going to Giggle Anonymous here! <laughs> Where is everyone? Well, Mr. Giggles, it seems like you're the only person in this world that has this problem. <laughs> oh, sh It's okay. It's all right. I'm going to help you through this. First, let me ask... What is so funny? <laughs> I don't understand the question. Why do you feel the need to laugh every sentence? <laughs> I don't laugh every sentence. <laughs> then why are you here at Giggling Anonymous? <laughs> Wait, isn't this for porn addiction? What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Gumroots, and welcome back to NASCAR 2013 Career Mode. Where the hell did we leave off? Oh, that's right. We won the last two races, but we still can't get the mail sponsorship. What is it gonna take? Now, everybody watching and everybody here right now, which is just me, wants to know what the fuck your problem is. Signed, sincerely, all of us. So Charlotte, most of it was bad. We were involved in a lot of accidents. Most of the race, we were pointed in the wrong direction. You know who was also pointed in the wrong direction was Double A Batteries. He was pointed down because his car was in the catch fence. He was looking at Earth, something only astronauts dare to achieve. Double A Batteries did it during a NASCAR race. There were so many yellows, we just decided to start staying out and we gained track position that way. And that got us up near the front. And it turns out we actually had a pretty decent car. Moves Motorsport putting out some bangers lately. And we were able to go up there, take the lead, hang on to it, win the damn thing. That race changed a lot in these points. It made us way further ahead of everybody else than we were before. And I guess that's really all that it changed. Also, Bushy Bushy, former Moves Motorsport driver this season, actually. He bumps up to second in point. Now he's 36 off of our back bumper, which headed into the Talladega today. Could be made up because the 2013 Talladega is very difficult. Jemai, terrible run. Terrible bad horrendous, horrific, like walking in on your mama having sex with the mailman type of bad. It was a bad run at Charlotte for him. He's now out by 52. That's more than a full race. We're halfway through this chase and there's only one driver within a race of the, the, the lead. The leader who is me. 68 out for Tony the Tiger and then 76 for Redneck Jesus. I'm laying an egg for this chase. The ratings are going to plummet. If we don't get a playoff system soon, no one's going to watch anymore. Damn near got a 100 point lead on eighth place. Ryan Freight is going to have to rip up the rule book in this offseason to come up with some magic to get the ratings back up. And while well, here are these guys, they're even further behind. This group probably doesn't have a chance at the championship anymore. This group lost their chance at the championship after the Watkins Glen race. And this group, well, they lost their opportunity before the season even started. Instead of something fun, the game decided to do an elimination race before we get to the actual race today. We got to do it at Kansas. Why the hell could we just do it at the Talladega's also? That would have been a hell of a lot more fun. None of these have gone very well yet because the ones we've done before were it's like really before we got some good, good upgrades of the car. So this could be the first one that, hey, maybe we actually contend for the win with. So Kansas, Eliminations? I hope the fans show up, because otherwise we're never coming back to do this again. Let's get down on track, and let's get the elimination started. Let's get the video. Nah, we'll save that for later. Let's get on the track, let's go! Take the green flag for an elimination race. And Kansas, I've never done this before. All right, we got Booby, and it looks like Chet Schroeder Montoya gonna get him too. How long are the increments? Is it like 15 seconds when we're gonna be eliminating guys? This is probably one that I, I can win. This is definitely gonna be one that I can win because Kansas is kind of like a silly track when it comes to the Eutechnics. You're always, it's always really easy to win here. Yeah, 15 second increments. Oh. I'm gonna lose this race now. Bitch, I'm gonna lose this goddamn race now, right when I was talking shit. Damn! Well, at least we got a little bit of a buffer. But look how far ahead they are! Man, I thought I was finally gonna win one of these damn things. I'm not. I got about, what? I got like less than a lap to get a spot. I just had to open my big fat man pleaser. I thought I was gonna get an elimination win for one time this season, and now it's not gonna friggin' happen. Mark, Grandpa Martin. Post racing out there, man. That was Good gonna job. be a okay, spy! There was gonna be 15 more seconds! See that ghost right there? 
It's Carl's Jr. because I killed him. I don't know if I could say that on YouTube because he screwed me out of a uh, surefire elimination win. I sure as hell did it go any bit way I thought it was going to go. Talladegs today, it's the worst Talladegs that you Technics ever made. It is so stupid hard to keep up on the initial starts of these races and on the ensuing restarts if you've got nobody behind you. It's really annoying. We gotta do our best so we can try to hang on to our points lead, not give up too much to Bushy Bushy, let him back into this and make this like an actual championship battle. I'm sure that's what you guys wanna see, but I mean, I'm fine just taking the easy road and coasting to this championship. Let's get to the talent eggs. Let's get this video started for real this time. Let's go! So apparently, whenever I pull this mug out, some people like swipe off the video. They don't like it anymore because I make a noise when I drink out of it. It's not edited in. It's like actually my drinking noise here. Listen. <laughs> That noise, apparently, it gets some people to turn off the video for some reason. I, I just, I kind of think it's funny. If you think it's funny, too, leave a like on the video. Let's, let's see 550 likes for the slurping noise of the fuck Kyle Bush mug. Please and thank you. If we don't hit that quota, then I'll never slurp again. I really want to be able to continue to slurp. I finally did it! Qualify at last! On a restricted plate! In 2013! I've never no, seen this before. No, I guess that green. good, good engine that we put in this piece, we got a good, good power plant under the hood. There's a lot of speed in there. We're gonna be able to keep up for once. Yeah. I mean, this completely changes everything because now we don't have to worry about losing the draft. We're gonna be a part of this race right from the get-go. They're not all gonna drive off from it. That's always what happens. At the Talon Eggs and the Day Toads, I'm just I'm getting situated here. Day Toads in the 2013, you're never fast. I mean, look at how what they're doing to me already. You're never fast enough to keep up if you start out fast. Pull it in. Now, starting with some people up behind me, I got that good, good speed. We won't lose the draft. We could like drive up to the front real fast. Pushy, pushy had the pole. Maybe now we're getting late enough in the season where the game is gonna start making Bushy, Bushy really good all the time, and we're gonna have a challenge on our hands trying to defeat him. This is like an actual race. At this point, usually I'd be one of those two guys. Blocking me, blocking me. He knew I was going down there. Typical LA John. This is fun. I like this. I'm not used to this. It's not be able to race. <laughs> when I was selecting how many laps we were gonna do, I was so. You make it too loose, it too hard. Take it easy. If I would have gone head on into that wall, that would have been the end of the race. We would have blown off. Hey, Rogaine Smith, you got some of that Rogaine dripping down into your eyes, or is that your hair dye? Or your bulb dye? I don't know what he couldn't see. He lost control over the car. It's more hand eye coordination. Hand coordination. I don't know what I'm trying, what point I'm trying to make. We stayed out. Anyway, the lap thing, I was so confused because the laps, it was either like 38 laps, 20, 20 laps, 38 laps, or 56. And I was like, damn, that doesn't seem normal for Kansas. I couldn't, under, I was like, Kansas? That, that, that's not a normal lap count for Kansas? And then I hit qualify and it was like, oh. I'm at the Talladegs. Did take some slight damage on the left front, but no engine damage. Engine is fine. That would have been the main concern in that accident. Damn. <laughs> Boom. Wait, I started calling you a different name. Your new nickname is Greg Beefle. Because you're constantly getting, yeah, no, it's all coming back to me what happened at Charlotte. Greg Beefle. We had beef at Chicagoland. And then it also came back up again at Charlotte. People, I ain't letting you go. Also, how you doing, Bushy? Still fit? We're four. Oh my God. We're, we're four wide. Okay, okay. Now he's gonna help me. Now people wants to help. We just want to keep Bushy close. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Keep the bitch that could steal a championship away from you. Like right up on your crotch. Oh, I'm no, not again. That almost Bushy, you see him on the outside? That could have cleaned him out. Bushy's looking like he's making some moves. He's going to the front today. If I'm not careful, he ends up winning the damn thing. And I go ahead and wreck my stuff. Oh, that'll change a lot of stuff. He has the up. 
inside. I should have dumped corner. Redneck Jesus There's straight no. into his shit. We're not going anywhere. We're kind of just Three stuck wide, here. I'm in the draft, but it's not mattering a whole time. But someone Three just grabbed some wall? Car front I don't, I don't, you don't typically door, see that here. Now they're all four wide, all Keep sorts of congested. Like they just Keep came down field, with the swine flu. They're gonna, we're gonna have to, wait a minute. We gotta make pit stops soon. We don't have, uh oh, what's going on? We don't have enough fuel to make it much further. We're gonna have to throw it down the pits. This is kind of, what are you doing? What the fuck, what the fuck? All right, oh my God. Pit stops are starting. That's what's congesting everything. That's what's slowing down lanes. People trying to get down to the bottom. I have no clue what happened to Bushy. If he's still out here, what? Eat my, eat, eat. No, don't eat my balls. I don't want you anywhere near my balls. Eat some what's balls who hasn't cleaned their balls in months. But Bushy, I don't know what the hell happened to him. He's in the lead. That's what happened. Damn, should I be pitting here? Or am I going to push it one more lap? I'm going to push it one more lap. And then we're going to come in. I hope some people come with me. I don't know how many people came in during our one yellow. That The Bushy was one of them. That should be interesting to see how many people are going to be left out here drafted together. They're going to have to pit soon, too. It wasn't that many laps in that we had the yellow. Here we go. Do I have anybody? I, maybe one. We're going to have one person I think it's Gilligan to draft with. Road, Don't be speeding now! Like Got it. Full fuel takes a ton of time. And adding four tires doesn't change that at all, so I'm just gonna... All right, let's make it count, boys. Be 18 ready. seconds Be to ready. fill up the tank, my ass! Hope to God that nobody's doing any sort of strategy and we just can continue on about our normal race. Seems job, like Gilligan, yeah. that's probably know, what he did. Like I said, we got a real good Seems car like here. we're gonna be okay. Hopefully he didn't lose too much focus. time by doing four tires. Be full to the lead. Ugh, you hate to see it. Everyone's kind of pitting together like Bushy and... All the lot that came in on the one yellow, they all decided to pit as well. A lot of people on the pit road right now. Should be interesting to see how this all pans out when everything gets back to normal. Why is so someone's going really slow in the tri-oval? I don't know what that is. There goes a bunch more. I think Beeple's the only one that stayed out. We're around about where we were before the pit stop started. It's just much more spread. The booty cheeks have been spread apart. Beefle is in. We get our lap back. And now things can resume. Things should get a little bit more clumped together the longer that we run. Everyone will be drafted. There'll be small groups of drafts that should catch other smaller groups. Don't don't check us up. That's a great draft. Unbelievable. Right there, like there's a pretty solid pack a little bit a ways back. So they should like run up to us because they'll just be naturally quicker. Now Bix wants to help me. Picking up Darb and Cans! I'm gonna really assume outside. that Bushy is in the group ahead. Now none of the guys are able to keep up behind us, but there is a snarling pack, baby! That is formed up Driver's just behind these ahead. guys. They're all gonna fall into their clutches, and then they should run us down. Actually pretty damn surprised Darb and I were able to run this group down, but the pack it's building and it's getting closer to us. Though we have our own little pack now, which might be just as fast as them, and they're starting to make pit stops again. Yeah, I guess that's okay, about it. I don't know how far we could go on a single tank, but it's that's about awesome. time. It was like when I had three Find laps of fuel, fuel to go, they started their here, stops. What the hell are y'all doing? You ain't gonna leave me, bitches! Those the bitches, they're, they're gonna leave me. That's why they're bitches. They don't want me included in their reindeer games. They're all bushy, bushy conspirers. Or Brian Frank just paid them off to help bushy and screw me. So there's actually a championship battle. Again, we're going to push it as far as we can go. We'll take one more lap and then we will come in, bushy, bushy. Oh, we got both bushy, bushies. I'm going to help this bushy. Less implications for me. This could actually be kind of big for us because we're just driving off for Bushy Bushy Bitch. We're leaving him. He should end up behind us after pit stops are done. Here we go again. Don't be speeding. Too fast, man. Check up. Check up. You've got to come I think I just 
God, hey, damn, big big crew is on it down, today. Down, we even beat the 78 it. off. Wait, well, what? Hey, hey, hey. So what, this will probably lead to like one more green flag? Nah, just one more pit stop in general. We can make it on one more. If we could go like 10-ish laps, something like that, I'm thinking that's about how far we can make it. We are way far out ahead of everybody. How the hell is this working? I didn't even go a lap down this time. This is gonna end up being for the lead because I can guarantee you Sideburn Fever isn't gonna hold it. And we could go another eight and a half laps on a tank. Okay, so it was like about nine and a half, 10 laps that we're able to make it. Yeah, we're good on one more stop. I don't know about everybody though. There's a good probability that there are some AIs out here that are gonna end up hitting on like the last lap. But for the first time today, folks, we're leading. And things are very spread apart. Booty cheeks spread even further than they were either. Or earlier. Though I do got a couple of Bushy leading that charge that are running me down. They're getting closer. I just have to wonder if that big old Pat has the time to even like catch up to us with how frequent the pit stops are happening. It, it feels like they gain a ton during the green flag run. Then some start peeling off to make stops and then they don't have the same amount of oomph to get to us, just doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Yeah, like there's some that are already starting their stops. They're definitely, this is, they're Our gonna have back. one more after this. Bushy ran me down. Our How you doing? How you doing, championship you. rival, former driver of Booms Motorsport? Okay, Whoever wins this, you have to think it's gonna take the momentum swing. And when it comes to the championship, if Bushy can pull it off, he'll knock some points out of my points lead. If I can pull it off, that's damn near a full race lead I'll have. Where are you going? Where are you going? You ain't taking this away from me. He is trying. I will give him that. He is doing everything he can to get by me, but I'm blocking for all she's worth. I would not be surprised if I end up spun off of his front bumper. Ten to go. I think Bushy's gonna be all right to make it when he pits with me. Hopefully the AI isn't that dumb. A lot of other AIs are pretty damn stupid though. Oh no. I spoke too soon. Are you kidding me? Uh, is, oh my god, he's gonna be so close to being able to make it. I know he's got a couple laps more fuel in the tank. Come on! That could certainly change some of the shits. I got no drafting help and... I don't, I would like to just push it one extra lap. I just want to have ready, the insurance. Fuel. What if there is a yellow? What if we go into overtime? I've been wanting to push this as far as I can each time, just in case. But now I have no drafting help, and I'm most certainly gonna be losing time. Final pit stop, let's not screw this up. Let's have a fast one like last time. That was very nice. Redneck Jesus. All right, so apparently Looks Redneck like Jesus gets the speed. Unless he's gonna get some sort of penalty for that. I was doing like the exact speed limit. He was doing like 20 miles per hour faster than me. That's some Bushy, shit, man. Apparently this is all popularity contest. If that's the case, then Bushy and I are fucked. Huh? Up. Redneck hey, Jesus you and your cheating ass. I got you. This is like some 1980s talent eggs bullshit where their car is scattered throughout the entire oval. It is so spread apart. There's one big fat old group. But they're so far behind now, they ain't getting up to me. That's if I fun. win you three in a row and Mail still doesn't sponsor me, I just don't think that the Mail sponsorship is ever gonna happen. Pull up now. They're in a little bit of a cluster forming behind me, and they're cutting into my lead. There's Steve Harvey, I think it's Redneck Jesus, Bushy, and maybe Darb. There's like four of them that are lumped together that are getting closer. But can they all make it to the end? Nick Douche! No! Well, there's more than four. There might be five or six of them that actually have got together. I can see that bitch in my rear view! Pit stops great. being nice made because They're nobody knows back. how to read a fucking fuel gauge. Looks like they ditched Darb, so it is four of them. There, there's another cluster way back there, but we're coming to three to go, so they, I'm not sure they got the time. I think McDouche is bailing. What a pussy. They're going to have just enough, though. Steve Harvey, Redneck Jesus, and Bushy Bushy. The fuck happened? Grandpa! Grandpa! Open your fucking eyes!
Guys. AI don't make cautions in this game. It just, it doesn't really happen. They pitted. I should have the fuel them. I should, I should be all right. I doubt there'll be another, uh, I might cause another yellow now. And with this restart, um, that, that took me by surprise. I was not expecting that. She had a yellow at the very beginning. Yellow at the very end. And we're in overtime now. Would be nice to hang on to this and not lose any points to pushing up five laps of fuel. And we'll be all right. If this goes into another overtime or another, another overtime, I think we have the fuel to make that. It's just now the stress of having a restart and being in amongst the pack again, having to block all these biddies. It's not gonna be an easy task. They're all charging. Yeah, sure, Redneck no. Jesus is hauling. Oh, well, I'm looking out for Bushy. I don't know where the hell Bushy oh, is, but I mean, he's the guy that I really gotta be thinking about. Oh, we got pit stop for what at 31. God damn, this is not, this is exactly what I did not want. But what I kind of saw coming, I kind of figured, you ain't getting by me, bitch. No freaking way. What I kind of saw, beefle. It's beefle. What I saw coming with a restart happening this late in the going. I knew this was coming. Oh, we got the suck. We got the suck. We're going for the dump. I want that victory, baby. I want, no, no. He's getting a big shot, Carl Jr. is, from Kansas! No. Oh, Bitch. Oh it's my high. god, oh my god, help me! Help me! Okay, let's go! go. go yeah. Fucking damn! Fucking damn! Car outside, trying to get to Don't your lose any... Way to get it done, man. I got third? How the hell did I beat Carlos Jr.? Kind of like, I, 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 so much happened right there at the end. I wasn't ex like anticipating, expecting any of it. How did I beat Carlos Jr.? There's no way. He was clearly in front of me. Unless someone, look at them pressed up against the wall like that. Unless one of the, was Grandpa Martin or Candy K not on the lead lap? Was one of them? Acting as a rogue agent? Who the hell? What the fuck did I do to piss at Grandpa's cornflakes? He actively plotted to fuck me over. First he brings out the yellow flag because he doesn't know where pit exit is. And then he pushes Candy Cane right on by me. Why the fuck? Fuck, was Grandpa Martin even up there to begin with to help Candy Cane? Where did he come from? I mean, we beat the pants off Bushy. The pants, I mean, five spots, it's still five points, it's pretty good. But it could have been a dub. It could have so easily been. Bitch was a lap down in 26th. He should have restarted in 26th. You're telling me he came from 26th to Candy Cane's bumper? In a lap and a half! I'm looking for Grandpa Martin here. Let me know if you see him. Actually, I could go into photo mode and I can find out, did he actually restart? He restarted all the way back there. And Candy... Candy Cane put on his Dale Earnhardt Senior pants! He came from what? The, the fucking bazillion spot to win the damn thing in two laps! I am... Dumbfounded. I mean, shit's could have been a whole hell of a lot worse. That last restart could have been a hell of a lot worse. I'm just, I'm upset that we didn't win. I thought we could have won that one. And really, you know, I think we got the good, good momentum on our side, though. With four races remaining, with Martinsville being one of them, Phoenix and eh, Texas, eh, oh, God. Martinsville might be the last good track. I hope I do not need those Talladega's points. How the hell can't this guy win a damn race? He now out by 42. Jimmy out by 72. 73. Oh my God. It's it's him or nothing. It's it, what? These are your choices. What a pair. You either have me or you got Bushy. Who you want to be a champion? Comment below. 81, 90. 104. God damn. Good for you, Candy Cane. You took a blind old man and you used him to convert 
A 24th place run into victory. Um, Grandpa. Pit exit is that way. Maybe I was supposed to win three in a row. I guess we'll never know. We have reached the last page of the shit. It's Martinsville, Texas. We have our last invitational event, a thunder lap before Phoenix. Where's that? Phoenix, also at Phoenix. Oh, what did that have made sense? Eliminations, talent eggs, whatever. Phoenix and then Homestead. These three are questionable. Martinsville, I think we'll be all right with. But you know, with that good, good engine, we might be all right with all three of these. Who the hell knows? Maybe that's what Homestead is missing. Why I haven't been able to be good at Homestead is because I haven't had a good enough engine times before. I have absolutely no idea. I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. I'm done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love every single last one of you. Thank you guys all for watching. Um, Appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!